How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing another mold tour. And as you see we have over 2,000 molds in here and I've done a little bit with them before. I've showed you the greenware and I've kind of cleaned one out. But we're going to kind of pick up some random ones and see the kind of the conditions. And a lot of these I don't even know what they are because they're technically not mine. They're my fiance's mom's. But I'm able to use and kind of, you know, slip cast any of these that I want. So let's go ahead and pick some up and see all the different kind of things that are in here. See how dirty they are too. So this one right here, as you can see we have quite a bit of stuff falling out of these. These look like chili peppers. So you could uh, cast those and make them green or red even. We have uh, some kind of like little boy or something like that. I'm not really too sure. There we go. Let's go back here. We have some bigger ones. How about this guy up here? We have some kind of like pot. We have like a bunch of spider webs in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, pretty gross. I'll put that back up here. These are pretty heavy too because these are all made out of plaster. We have one next to it. It says uh, S2564. Whoa. Oh man. Oh, this one looks cool though. It's some kind of uh, like an angel or something. Has all kinds of white web. It has all kinds of webs in there. I can't speak. There we go. And then let's just pull some random ones out of here if we can. I don't want to move too many from in here because I'm not sure of the organization. But oh, this one looks like a solid one, honestly. I've never seen that. It's pretty cool. It's like a vase. Some small one next to it. Has some webs on the outside. And it says something. I, I can't really make that out. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's all kind of weathered out. This is some kind of, uh, ooh, it's a teacup. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Get it in the light right there. I like that. Sorry if the audio is not like super great. We're using the ASMR um, setting on my LG phone, which is kind of, it, it's more intense and you can really hear everything, but sometimes I feel like it's too loud. And then we have this. It looks really new, this one right here. It's kind of like a snail. You can even see the ridges on this one right here. It still has like all of the details in it. This is actually really good. I'm going to set this one to the side actually over here. Because we can actually cast this in a different video. I'm going to put it right over here so that I don't forget about it. And then these are all the ones right here that we're actually getting rid of because they're damaged. Or we have duplicates of them so we don't need to have the other. But we see over here, we have a ton of these stacked right here. Some of these are just not even good anymore. Like this one, you can see the the pitting has kind of uh, ruined that portion of it a little bit. It has a lot of dirt in it. But uh, you can see this is a fish. And you could still pour stuff in there and get the fish thing out. That's not technically broken, but it's still a little, a little bad. Pull this guy out of here. We have some kind of uh, angel again. Looks like a cherub, maybe. And we have flat ones too. You can see down here we have like a cactus. And you know, you just scrub it with like a brush or something, you know, knock the dirt out of there and you can get a really nice like flat little cactus thing. Got some flowers. These are like little lily pads right there. That's pretty cool. And then I'm not sure that's like a leaf. Hearts, gonna be a lid. We have a bunch of stuff like that. And, um, you wanna get a close-up on that? I'm not really sure that what that is. That's like a little angel, I think. We have this one right here. It looks like it is a camel. Well, there's some guys on a camel right there. Some kind of thing like that. I think this is a coaster, honestly. Some of these could be used as coasters. A lot of the flat ones probably can be. And, uh, we have like a little kind of, uh, house villa kind of thing. And then, a uh, more... You know, defined one. This is like a church. It has a bell up the top. And then we have a dog with a uh, fire hydrant right next to it. So that's pretty cool. And then we have some a little interesting ones like this. Not really sure what that is. Of course, the bigger ones are the interesting ones because you can get some pretty cool stuff out of that. Oh, look at that. That's a um, it's a it's koala. It's a lot of spider webs in the bottom, though. Might be able to clean that out pretty well. It's 
set that down. Uh, but this whole entire shelving unit, all the way there, all the way down, we need to move this middle section to the center so we can actually get to all of these. Um, some of these are a lot newer too. There's a lot of newer ones on this shelf. In a lot better condition. This one looks uh, like it would be okay. I have no idea what this would be. It's kind of terrifying, I'm going to be honest. Like, look at those eyes. That's kind of creepy. There we go. And if you follow me back here, if I turn this light on, hopefully we will be able to actually see. Yeah, there we go. I point it to the back wall right here. These lights are adjustable. We have a ton of different ones over here. So we have ones that have uh, two different portions to it, two different pore points. This right here looks like there's some kind of little bow, some kind of animal on the side as well. It's pretty cool. And then we have some flat ones. Well, actually, let's pull from the top because these are a lot of the flat ones we keep at the top. So this is a lid, or like a plate maybe. Well, not a plate because it has the thing right there at the center of the hole like a donut. And there's this flat one right here. It has multiple different pore points. Some kind of uh, <laughs> more chili peppers. I feel nervous sticking my finger in there. I never know if there's going to be something in there that wants to bite. Slide that guy back those down here. And then this thing is probably like a bowl or a plate because they're usually shaped like this. So you pour in right here. And yeah, it's some kind of like little uh, dish. It's like kind of, uh, you know, scrunched in edges, kind of like a, I don't know, like a pair of curtains or something. And then over here, we have some more flat ones. This is another lid, but I want to check out the one that's below it right here. There we go. This is pretty cool. It's some kind of, uh, kind of, cow, I think. It has some grass in the middle, yeah. Probably use that as some kind of plate, maybe. And then in the back right here, we have another one. Some of these are really dirty. Like I said, they were left outside to the elements, so they're, they're alright. So this is a bunny. Good thing for, like, Easter or something. It has, like, a little egg right there. All these need to be cleaned out, too. And then, if you want to see right here, this is kind of what we do to recycle the uh, clay. Some of the things that are broken or they were too thick. And we got a little piece right here. That's kind of terrifying. As you can see that's a kind of a creepy little head. And if you want to see if we get really close, go ahead and move forward. Focus in. That's what happens. That's how brittle it is. That's why you fire it in the... Uh, kiln and it'll cause it to get really hard like a like a mug or something but we break all of this up we mix it with water again and then it turns back into kind of like a you know clay kind of slushy and then that's what goes back into there so we save all of it so none of it's wasted so even the parts that aren't good anymore you know just break it up and then mix it back in and you can continue using it so nothing's wasted so let's go ahead and go back if you see these shells right here as we're moving through Turn around real quick. We have these shelves right over here. We have two of them stacked side by side. So we have ones on this side and we have ones on this side over here. So that's pretty neat. Of course, we have really large ones too like this, but uh, I don't really want to take that one apart. But let's look at some of the bigger ones, but maybe we're not ones that are that big. So this one looks like a, maybe like a little girl with a dress. No, it's another cherub. The person we got this from, um, I believe she was pretty religious, so she had a lot of uh, religious memorabilia in her. And we have a cute little bear right there. Has a little bow tie on. And then in the back right here, we have some kind of cup. So this is a really nice cup, but look how dirty that is. That's really dirty. There's a lot of silverfish that came with these guys, and they just started to clear out, but we had silverfish in here and in the garage for a while. I'm going to actually probably still have to bug bomb it because there's just so many silverfish. It was crazy. And then all the way from here to the back, from the bottom all the way up here to the top, all full of molds. And I had to reinforce these shelves too. 
um, because there was some water damage in the back. As you can see, this is into the beam, but the actual ceiling's a little coming down right here, but it'll be fine. I'm not sure if I picked that one up yet. Let's see. Oh, this is a lid. Ooh, look at all the dead spiders in there. Let's not zoom in on that. <laughs> I don't want anybody with arachnophobia getting too freaked out. I'm gonna grab that one next to it though. Maybe it has. Okay, check this out. So this is a, uh, a thing for soap, probably. You put the soap on there. You put it on your uh, um, bathroom it's counter. A soap dish. It's a soap dish, yeah. <laughs> soap dish. Yeah, what she said. And then, uh, got some small ones too. This is like some kind of lid probably, or maybe a little jar. But yeah, there's like a ton of stuff in here. So this is just a really rough kind of view of some of the molds that we have in here and some of the things that we could create. We have a lot of tiny ones too, like little tiny houses. And I mean, there's so many that we don't even have the pieces for yet. We need to find the matching pieces. So, but uh, yeah, I really like uh, these kind of things. It's kind of terrifying. Looks like a little baby or something. And uh, yeah, so. This is a little small kind of tour of the molds. I want to be able to do another one kind of like this, just like a general pick up and kind of check out, you know, like what we have kind of tour, because a lot of people don't have things like this. And let's see if we can find one right before we end that has a date on it. So right here, this one says 2001, but we have ones that are really old in here, like really old, um, 40 plus years, maybe even more. It's just finding the ones in here that actually have a date on them is kind of hard because they get worn out. 1980, right there. You can barely see it though, it's faded. But if you can see right there, focus in. Yeah, 1980. So, and this right here is uh, that little cup that I pulled out earlier. So, a lot of these are really old. But yeah, so there's so many in here. And even for me, this is kind of like an experience going through all these things because, like I said, these are like one of a kind. And a lot of these don't exist anywhere else in the world unless you know, people had been collecting these, so they're probably far and in between. And uh, I think cleaning them up will be really fun, and I think I will do some videos about, you know, how to do that and whatnot. But uh, for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know that my last one got quite an amount of views, and I'm really happy about that. So if you enjoyed this, please share this with your friends. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.